Once the project data has been collected and processed, the project data can then be viewed. The application has a full set of interactive 1D, 2D, and 3D visualization functions for this purpose. To access these visualization functions, select the Visualization Data option from the Project Data menu. The default visualization function is the 1D Visualization Tools. To view the project point data in 1D, select the point that is to be viewed from the Select Point list. Now select the dataset which is to be displayed for the 1D visualization by selecting the dataset drop-down list. All the possible datasets for this point are provided on the list. Select the dataset to be viewed from the drop-down list, then select the OK option. To render the selected 1D dataset, select the Render option. The data in this case, the point apparently hydraulic conductivity, value is shown on the 1D chart as an absolute depth to amplitude trace. To view a different 1D dataset for the point, Simply select the dataset from the drop down list, then render the data again. This can be done for any of the available datasets. To calibrate a point's hydraulic conductivity data to a real field data, select the 1D Cal tab. Here, the real field hydraulic conductivity value in meters per day for a given depth can be entered into the provided field. Enter the value. Once the real field hydraulic conductivity value has been added, the calibration can be applied to the point data trace at a user selected depth. This is done by tapping the chart data trace at the desired calibration depth point. The point hydraulic conductivity data will then be calibrated to the real field data and shown on the chart. To apply this calibration to the point, select the Apply Calibration option. A message will appear on the successful application of the calibration data to the point. Calibrated points are indicated by blue point glyphs. Once a point is calibrated, its estimated yield can be calculated. This is done by selecting the point from the Select Point list, then selecting the 1D Yield tab. The estimated yield in liters per second is calculated within a user-defined target depth range and for a user-specified bore diameter in millimeters. To adjust the target depth range for the yield estimation, use the provided sliders. The target depth will be shown on the chart in blue. The estimated groundwater yield will then be calculated and shown in the calculated yield field. The value is only an estimate for yield, calculated from the point data collected and the user parameters provided. To view the project data in 2D, select the 2D tab. Select the data points to be included in the 2D visualization from the Select Data list. In this case, all the project points are to be included. This can be done by using the Select All option. If the point calibration data is available, it can be applied to the 2D rendering of the hydraulic conductivity data by selecting the calibration point from the calibration list. SRTM elevation data can also be selected instead of the default GPS elevation data. The 2D chart color scale can be edited using the provided high, medium, and low value color scale boxes. The 2D interpolation setting provided include user settable values for the number of lateral grid points the number of vertical grid points, and the lateral and vertical interpolation search radius. The number of contours and the maximum render depth are also user editable. The dataset to be rendered can be chosen from the provided dataset drop-down list. Select the 2D dataset to render, then select the OK option. To render the 2D data plot, select the Render option. Once the render is complete, select the 2D View tab. The chart shows the 2D elevation corrected, rendering of the included points in the order the points are selected. In some cases, it may be desirable to increase the 2D data sensitivity in order to better show weaker responses in the 2D data rendering. 
This can be done using the Clip Data slider. The increased sensitivity amplifies the response values in the 2D data rendering. The data scale is adjusted accordingly. To render the project data in 3D, select the 3D tab. Now select the points to be included in the 3D rendering from the Project Points list. This can be done individually, or all the points can be selected using the Select All option. The editable 3D interpolation values provided include the number of latitude, longitude, and depth grip steps, the data set increment value, and the lateral and vertical interpolation search radius. In this case, a vertical grip step of 20 is used to generate a vertical 3D resolution of 5 meters. This is calculated by dividing the maximum rendering depth by the vertical grip steps. Now select the 3D data sets that need to be gridded. This can be done in the checkboxes in the Data Sets menu. Multiple data sets can be selected for gridding at once. In this case, the Elevation Surface and ES Hydraulic Conductivity data sets are selected to be gridded. If the user chooses to grid all the data sets available, then use the Select All option. If gridded data sets already exist, the user may choose to delete them using the Delete Data Set option. If calibration data exists for the project, the user may apply this data to the gridding process. This is done by selecting the calibration point data to be applied from the calibration points list. To begin the gridding process, select the Generate Gridding Data option. Once the gridding process is complete, Select the 3D Render tab to view the 3D data rendering tools. Select the 3D datasets to be rendered from the Select Datasets to Render list. Only the Evaluation Surface, Scanner Plot, and one of the datasets can be selected for rendering at any one time. The ISO surface value, color, and border settings of the selected dataset to render may be modified by the user. This can be done as shown. Once the user has made the appropriate changes to the selected 3D data set to be rendered, the Apply Settings option must be selected. The Render option must be selected to generate the 3D model. Once the 3D render is complete, select the 3D Model tab. The 3D model shown indicates the point scanner plot for the selected points in the 3D rendering. The elevation surface data and the selected data set ISO surface at the value set by the user. The 3D model is fully interactive and can be rotated and zoomed. To view the project quality control data, select the Noise tab. Then select the project points to render from the Select Data list. In this case, all the points are selected. Select the data set to be rendered from the data set drop down list provided. Select the OK option once the appropriate data set is selected. To render the selected data set, select the Render option. The 2D surface data rendering shown represents the latitude longitude area surface interpretation of the data set. The points included in the rendering are shown on the surface. To view the project site data, Select the Site tab. Then select the project points to render from the Select Data list. In this case, all the points are selected. Now select the data set to be rendered from the Data Set drop down list provided. Select the OK option once the appropriate data set is selected. To render the selected data set, select the Render option. Once the render is complete, select the Site View tab to view the rendered 2D data surface. The 2D surface rendering shown represents the latitude longitude area surface interpretation of the data set. The points included in the rendering are shown on the surface. 